welcome <coughs> to the next lecture in this lecture we will study the cellular system cellular uh, system design which forms the base of mobile communication systems so uh, you might uh, so previously we were dealing with some the concept of modulation so the concept of modulation is related to a single transmitter and single receiver but in mobile communications we have several uh, hundreds of users within one area who have their mobile equipment they want to communicate and we have to handle a large number of users so one of the <coughs> uh, basic concept in uh, cellular systems and one of the fundamental concept in cellular systems is something called frequency reuse to motivate for this frequency reuse uh, let's make some points suppose you have a single so here is a simple problem so we have large number of people having this mobile equipment with them and they want to communicate with each other around the world definitely they cannot communicate directly right okay if you are in the same adjoining area maybe then it's okay but uh, you have a small handheld device you cannot bump in too much power into the antenna of the small device so definitely point to point communication from one mobile to other mobile is not possible now what is done is you have something called base station a very big base station and what uh, every mobile uh, communicates with the base station and base station then communicates with other mobile suppose you dial some number so that signal goes to base station and base station will then communicate to uh, you know will will broadcast a message to all the mobiles that whoever has this number you have a call suppose it is the number of this mobile and uh, you know it will you will communicate to base station based on communicate this mobile this is how we are connected now here the fundamental problem is of uh, now multiple users will communicate right so definitely you have to use different frequencies if they communicate simultaneously now if this is one area served by this base station there will be another area here served by this base station and you have limited frequency if you give different frequency to every area to every user then there will be scarcity of the frequency so now what is done is something called frequency reuse is done let me introduce the concept in a very simple way suppose here is area designated by a and i will put this hexagon around it what is this hexagon suppose you have a base station there is an antenna connect at the top of the base station now this antenna will have some particular region where the sig signal of this antenna is having significant strength and outside this region the signal of this antenna will be very weak so we call this as the coverage area for this antenna okay now what will be the shape of the coverage region okay so ideally if it is an omnidirectional antenna it, it, it should have been circle but when we represent things on paper for our uh, analysis circles have this issue that if you draw multiple circles there will be an area left right which is which does not uh, so i can say this antenna is a a this is antenna b this is antenna c antenna a serves this area so it means that in this area the significant strength is of this antenna signal antenna b signal will have very weak strength here similarly antenna b serves this area antenna c serves this area but there is in this a this part which is not being served by any of the three antennas that is the issue with circular shape then i want a shape which should cover the whole area so i have one option rec this rectangle right other option i have triangle i can have these triangles
okay uh equilateral triangle of course or square but uh, what i want is and this is called cell this one area served by base station is called cell that is the reason for the name cellular system but the issue is that i want uh, this cell should serve the weakest mobiles within the area and weakest mobiles uh, by weakest i mean that the mobiles which get the least signal they are straight at the edge suppose if you have antenna here then the weakest signal will be at these edges right now for a given distance between center of the polygon and its perimeter points hexagon has the largest area of the three and uh, if uh, by using hexagonal uh, you know shape for the cell we will need fewer number of cells and which can cover the geographical area whole geographical area suppose if you see one hexagon right like this if i have antenna here now if i needed a triangular then i would need several triangles right so this is one triangle another triangle another triangle so one two three four five six so then i would have needed six cells if i would represent with rect a triangular region right so six cells of triangles are equivalent to one cell of hexagon so that is why theoretically we represent the area covered by one base station by an hexagon okay so that is why i have drawn here hexagon now suppose here is the base station a and this hexagon is the coverage area for that base station and then uh, this is b okay i'm bad at drawing here right now and this is c okay now suppose you allocate some uh, maybe uh, some 50 frequencies to base station a it's an example as an example in gsm you have 900 megahertz to some say suppose you have uh, 950 megahertz available so in this range you can give any frequencies suppose out of this you give 50 different frequencies to a what does that mean that at a time 50 people can call okay they can communicate with the base station they will be allocated 50 different frequencies then since base station b is nearer to a you you cannot use these 50 frequencies why although the signal of a will be weaker after this boundary because now now from this boundary onwards the signal coming from the base station b will be stronger than that of a but still the signal of base station a will reach to this point so if you use same frequency there will be interference suppose a person in this cell calls and he is given a frequency 910 megahertz at the same time if person here also calls and base station b allocates 910 megahertz frequency to this guy what will happen is that they this this guy may receive some part of the signal since it is of the same frequency there will be interference same thing will happen to this person also so what is done the adjacent cells should have differently different frequencies but what we can do easily is i will designate this cell again with a since this cell is farther from this cell okay so this cell a is farther away from this cell a i can use same frequency here so now if a person is calling at this point and a person is calling at this point at the same time and suppose both of them are given the same frequency 910 megahertz but the signal of this a the person here will not reach to this point easily it will be very very weak because they are farther away similarly i can i can use i can now designate this as b because again this is farther away right and i can call this as c right 
and you see this one I can call B and this one I can call A so in this way we are seeing that uh, we are reusing the frequency so wherever I write A A A A the, all the A's means that all these base stations will use the same frequency since they are farther away so there will be less interference but suppose if if you feel that okay although i have reused i have kept them little bit far away but still there is an interference which is not good so what you can do we can do something like this so we can increase the you know reuse we can say uh, pattern that means here is this a so this is one base station and then there is another base station b another base station here c another base station here d another base station here e another base station here f and another base station here g a b c d e f g they all use different frequencies okay now what will i do is i will now reuse the frequency just a moment yeah i will just increase it yeah no it's okay <laughs> now i should do it in such a way that the two cells using the same frequency should be farther away it means that although no one can stop me putting here suppose c but more than c i see that b is farther away i could have put here f also i could have put here a also but i will put here b why because b is this b i will mark with red color this b and this b they are farther away right as compared to if i put here c or f or a right <coughs> they are quite near now this is b <coughs> and now i can basically from this onwards i can directly repeat the above scenario so below b there is a below a there is e right and then here is d here is c here is g here is f okay now you see this e is farther away from this e now all the same alpha bits means that all those cells will use the same frequency similarly you can uh, you know uh, uh, let me let me use another color to highlight uh, this one but so this is one we call it cluster also i am drawing with blue what does that mean okay so this one blue uh, these seven cells they use the same they use different frequencies all of them now i will use a red color for the second cluster okay so all these cells reuse the frequencies of previous cluster we can i can draw one more here <laughs> so this i can call as b then c d <laughs> a E, F, 
जी ओके सो दिस इज बी ओके सो इट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दिस सी ओके सेम वे यू कैन रिपीट दिस पैटर्न सपोज हेयर इज एन एग्जाम्पल सपोज ईच बेस स्टेशन ए और वट एवर यूजेज फिफ्टी डिफरेंट फ्रीक्वेंसीज राइट सो सेवन सेल्स विल यूज थ्री हंड्रेड फिफ्टी डिफरेंट फ्रीक्वेंसीज दैट इज इट वी डोंट नीड मोर देन थ्री फिफ्टी बिकॉज वी विल दैन रिपीट इट एवरीवेयर एज एन एग्जाम्पल सपोज एन आई टी हैज अ टॉवर it uses some maybe now nowadays we use lot of frequencies suppose it uses 500 different frequencies because there are a lot of people uh, you know who have mobiles near then the another area may be hazratbal so nit and hazratbal tower the dargah hazratbal shrine there is a tower suppose they will use different frequencies because they are near to each other <coughs> but if we move further towards suppose uh or those of you who reside near nit you are in, you are you were in nit for more than 3 years so you know lot of areas suppose near nearest one area is four shore road where we go to nishat so from that suppose you when you reach nishat you can use different free you can use same frequencies as nit because the signal from nit will not now easily reach to nishat that is what the concept of frequency use is so in next lecture we will quantify the various quantities related to this uh, frequency reuse and we will also define something called system capacity we will do some computation some calculations so that we easily get how many cells we can pack together okay and what are the different frequencies we can give and uh, what will be the overall system uh, you know uh, capacity also <clears throat>